You spent your whole life trying to blow up But Elohim never had time for donuts The beat go have no time for cold cuts The game like Big Fish came to join up Yeah, I'm still independent Ain't sold a million records yet Used to be on my checklist Big diamonds don't need a necklace Look, we built the sound like it's double speed Tetris I cannot build without God in it We built the sound, you can't copy this I never brag, it's just confidence I never rap for your compliments I wrote this one for the indie grind If you ain't signed on the dotted line Can't buy my soul with no dollar signs The industry's so full of chocolate dice I don't follow trends Sit down with my chest No, I will not bend Today The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. So, Charles, you know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level. 7-0. and And we're still a long ways from the scout. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Lions will take over. Taylor to start the drive and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12 here's Jackson throw over the middle he finds Williams and he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32 well, this defense Charles really played well in that win a week ago yeah and what stood out to me on tape the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit, and they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense. They may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. A dime look defensively for the Lions on third. On play action, they'll throw. Rolling to his right. There's Chris Olave. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 
That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. Room here to run. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions 22. 47 yards rushing for him now his first two carries of the ball game. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive they went three and out. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Dancing to his left. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swore and stopped them for almost no gain. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here. Now, after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section. It says touchdowns instead of field goals, but they'll take the three for now and try to get set up for more later. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And, Charles, you look at these two teams, and these are those kind of litmus test games in the second half of the season that if you're a coach or a player, you can either really look forward to them or really dread them, depending on your point of view. And if you're dreading them, you're not going to go very far in the playoffs. You need to look forward to these kind of games because here we've got two division leaders, both real contenders for the NFC title. And you're right. You love having easy games on your schedule, but you need some games like this to toughen you up a bit and ensure that you're ready for the shock of playoff football. So a holding penalty, and that'll send them backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Forced out to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now it's Jackson. A complete to Drake London. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson, and he'll find Chase on the right side complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. And Jackson throwing once more. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. 
Jackson. Got a man open. It's Chase. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. To Williams on a jet sweep. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down and about the length of the football. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. They turn to Taylor on four. And he'll be caught behind the line of scrimmage at the three. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the ball will go over on the goal line stand. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. 56 yards rushing for him so far in this one as he nears 1,400 for the year. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Four yards to pick up. First down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. A little risky there when you roll out of that pocket right like he did. You complete the pass, but you don't get anything out of it. But how many times have we seen when a quarterback exits out of the pocket? Doesn't matter where they go. Now the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there. His 14th touchdown now on the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point forthcoming. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. The drive summary that time, five plays. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Jamar Chase hoping to be at center stage yet again as the offense returns to the field. Sitting right around the midpoint of the season, on pace for 1,000 yards. Good year so far, and I'm sure film study being devoted to him a little bit more on the other side. They have to, because the pace that he's carrying right now, if you're pushing a 1,000-yard pace as a receiver, that means he warrants your attention. And right now, Precision is going on with their offense. Kind of like that timepiece you wear on your wrist. You know, that good stuff. You've got to knock that off somehow. Chip away at that timing. Change things up a little bit and make them go to other things and make them do those things better. Yeah, try to make him uncomfortable. Not many teams have been able to do that so far this year. On first and ten, it's Jackson. He's airing it out for Williams. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. Four yards remain for second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll buy some time right. 
He's got a man complete. Touchdown. Chris Olave. 84 yards. And the Explorers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes our score 17-0. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. And Detroit getting set to go now. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. want to. I know, but oh, let me finish. Okay, about that. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Jackson will throw again. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. From the 29, Jackson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great effort there as the first half is winding down, and the Lions are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. The extra point up and good, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away from the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. He's going to loft one deep left side here. He's got a man complete. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. The try here for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So we reach half to pass the halfway point of the season and now pass the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. 
And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. From the 29, Jackson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, here's Jackson. He's got this complete to Williams. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Running straight ahead, Taylor. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. From the 27, Jackson. He will find his man Chase complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Jackson to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Escapes the sack. But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. From the gun, it's Taylor. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because and it's intercepted at the goal line. Tariq Woolen picks it. And he will bring this all the way up to the 30-yard line. They were well aware of the scoreboard as they went into halftime, and they know how tough it's been to put up any kind of points. But if there's a positive after that play, is that they were able to take a shot at the end zone on their opening drive of this half. The negative, though... That shot at six ended in an interception, and we know that's not going to jumpstart this struggling offense. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. 
And they had the big halftime lead. Their defense just helped them out further by forcing the turnover. So things are starting to look pretty rosy. They certainly are, but they've got to be careful about getting complacent, though. They still need to go out and run their offense efficiently. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, minicamp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Play action. Now Jackson. And for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Sauce Gardner puts it off. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Another solid game-changing play for this defense with the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are always in the right spot in order to make a play. The offense has had its moments, too. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He turned that into a nice game. Gets them eight yards closer for third down. Here's a give up the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 83 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continue to do so. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. He'll look to throw. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. 
his 16th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Explorers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is now 24. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out and by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Throwing is Jackson. Being chased out left. He's got it to Williams. And some room to work. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Lions get a bit closer. They'll let Taylor try and run. And he'll find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The lead's cut to 16. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 116 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. They'll look to throw here. And it's caught. Touchdown. Chris Olave from three yards out. And the Explorers are poised to move to 8-0 as they extend their lead even further. The extra point splits the uprights. And that pushes the lead up to 23. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Chris Alave who finished things off with a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Jackson now on second and ten. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. To throw again is Jackson. Got his man. It's London. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Throwing on first down. It's Jackson. He'll drop this down to Taylor. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. 
from the 31. Jackson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Jordan Brooks with it. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. But look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Tackle made by Chase Young. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. That one looks like he'll throw here. Flushed out right. Throwing out right here, caught by Alave. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now back to throw. He's going to air one out. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. Second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Explorers up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. offense ready to kick off their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And now here is another interception. Tariq Woolen picks it, and his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Oh, he's been fun to watch in this one. He's made the correct reads all game long and helped stake his team a huge lead. Running, passing, he's made all the right decisions. But that wasn't the right read on that one. It falls incomplete. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. He'll get it inside the 20, and he will step out of bounds down near the 10-yard line. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the home team here, they continue to cruise as they move to